Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma. Now I've been talking a lot about how you can learn programming and a common comment I see in every single video I'm making is that I don't have a laptop. I don't have a personal computer. Or you say that you're not able to install Python, for example, you're not able to run Visual Studio Code in your laptop due to some technical problem. And so there is a misconception that's formed that if you want to learn to code, you must have a laptop. While having a laptop definitely helps out a lot if you want to learn programming, there are definitely ways in which you can learn to code using your phone. If you are watching this video on YouTube on a phone, then you can learn to code on that same device. And in this video, I want to show you exactly how can you do that with the help of Replit. Replit is a completely online browser based IDE that you can use through which you can store all of your apps and games that you create on the IDE without needing to download any software, without needing to have a proper laptop to create and run all of the apps applications. It's a really interesting application that I've been using over the past two years. I have taken over 350 classes teaching Python and web development to a thousand different school kids. And I used Replit to actually show them how it all works. So I'll show you in this video, how can you use Replit on your phone just using Google Chrome or any other browser? How can you start writing your first piece of code on the platform? How can you run it? How can you store all of your files? Make sure that you watch till the end, hit the like button and subscribe and let's take a look at Replit. So this is Replit, you can create, you can code and you can learn programming together. You can also collaborate with your friends and you can work on the same project. But this is what the basic platform looks like. It's an in-browser ID, you can do real-time collaboration. You can also integrate with GitHub repositories. There are over 50 plus languages in which you can code. You can build Python programs, you can build websites, you can build apps, you can build games, you can use React, Angular, whatever it is that you wish to use. There will be a way to do that with the help of Replit on your phone, on your browser. So let me just go over here and click on start coding. I just need to log in. So I'll just click on continue with Google. After you log in, this is what the screen you will see. There are two ways to create a new program or you call it a REPL in case of REPLIT. Either you click on this plus button right here or you can also click on this plus button right here. I'll just click on this create button and then I'll choose which language am I going to be using. So in this case, I just want to use a simple HTML, CSS and JavaScript replets where we'll click on that and we'll then have to name our replet or our program. So we'll just call it demo website in this case. And now let's just click on create repel. So this is the interface of replet. It has a boiler template over here as well. First of all, let's just take a look at the files tab. Now in the files tab, you will be seeing three different uh, files. First of all, you have the index.html, you have the JavaScript file, and you also have the cascading style sheets file right there. Then you have the code tab right here where you can see the code for the selected file that you are having. You can also look at the web part. This is the website in action, right? So as you can see, there is this one uh, button right here. When you click on this button, that way you will be able to run this complete file and you will be able to see the end result. You can see the website that is formed with the help of this code. You can also run commands over here. First of all, I'll just show you how can you write things over here. So we'll just click on this hello world and I'll just change this by saying, I just made a simple h1 tag over here saying this is a demo website. I can also add a paragraph tag. I can add a bold tag. I can add whatever tag I use in HTML. If you know how HTML works, you can just create tags and in that you can put your content. So that's what we can do. Once you are done with this, then you can just click on done and you can go on to website and it will automatically show you the latest version from the code that you've written right here. You can also go on to script.js and we can just try to see how this will work. So I'll just say console.log and I'll just enter. So I'll just click on the web and I'll click on run right here. And then I should be able to see let's go in the console logged out with the help of the JavaScript file that we have. I can also go on to styles.css and over here I can start by styling a few things. So I can say that the h1 tag that I have, I want to actually put in a color for that. So I'll just say color and I'll just say that the color for this one is going to be, uh, let's just say red, right? 
just a simple example so when you do that you can just click on run and you can see the impact of that coming in front of you right here of course i'm just showing you an example this is not how you would ideally want to write create a website from scratch here is one more example of what you can build with the help of replit so this is a simple form tag that i have over here and i've had a simple field an input field and i have a button alongside it so in this case what i've done is i've given it an on click event called as increment value so that basically means that whenever i click that button this increment value javascript function will be executed so i'll just take you through to the files i'll click on script.js and we'll take a look at this function now what this function basically does is that whenever i'm clicking on that button it will get the latest value of the number in that input field and then it will increment that as you can see right value plus plus and then it will just update its value so if you just take a look at this we'll just click on run and then i'll just click on increment value and as you can see the value is increasing right there of course i can stylize it i can make it much better with the help of uh, css i can use bootstrap i can use other tailwind css as well so i am just trying to show you the functionality you can add styles and other things later on here is one more example of what you can build with replit this is a very simple portfolio website that you can create with the help of html so i'll just show you how this looks like this just has a simple image it has my heading my name as a heading it has some content over here and this is just a simple website that you can build with the help of html and with a little bit of styles.css as well as you can see so we've just chosen some colors we've just had some border width some width and this is what the end result looks like you can build this completely on this platform without the need for you to download anything or without the need of you having a laptop just by typing out all the tags and this is similar to how you would do it on a proper laptop Laptop, just you have to do it on the browser so this is one more type of thing that you can create once you learn about CSS you know flexbox once you learn about CSS grid model once you learn about all of these important things then you can try to build a proper responsive website so this is going to be your website that you can use in maybe a resume or something i'll just show you how this looks like so here's a really interesting example of a portfolio website that is going to be responsive and is made with the help of css flex box model and alignment all of that is taken care of and if you take a look at the web this is what it basically looks like it has my name it has some text onto it it has some skills and it also has a way for people to get in touch with you as a developer i'll put the link of this as a template in the description you can go and have a look at this and you can try to build something of your own you can use this as a template and you can put in your own values and you can build it with the help of replit without the need to go on a laptop now if you look at this code properly we just have some divs we have some classes that we've used image h1 tags h2 h3 tags some peak tags with the help of some classes and we have used style.css to stylize every single class as you can see right we've used float we've used text align and we've used a variety of other you know attributes to create a website that is stylized and that looks something like this so take a look at this the link is going to be in the description for this template also if you want to start using replit you can start using it for free using the link in the description and start coding on the web without the need to download anything or use a laptop per se you can also use python you can use other languages as well java c++ all of that is compatible on replit you can also take a look at the console the elements and the network tabs over here this is the complete chrome dev tool that is available to you on this page itself so this is basically what replit is all about you can start using this template using the link in the description or if you just want to use replit you can just take a look at the link in the description or just go to replit.com and start using this platform to learn to code on the web please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions i would love to handle all of them and uh, you can share this video with your friends you can tag me on social at ishan sharma 790 thank you so much for replit for sponsoring this part of the video and i'll see you all in the next one